the trick to this is going to be, and I'm sure this is true for most situations, we're going to tap into the hot and cold here. And let's make sure there's no pressure on the cold, on the hot. So turn this off, and I got one to open outside. We're going to drill through here. We don't have to worry about the plumbing because it's on the inside. But I don't have a valve in a good spot. So the moral of the story is build, lay out your system and build it before you you crimp it to the main line on the T because you it's it be it's so much easier to use the tool you know out in the open space and uh, you'll see what I mean in a minute and uh, so we're gonna need uh, not gonna need those yet so I need two valves here and I need the blue let's not let's not gonna use that yet we need the keys. We need some red and blue or white, whatever you want to do. Uh, and then we need uh, a couple of these and a couple of these and this thing. Yes, uh, I think I prefer. Well, anyway, let's try. Let's try. I got two different kinds here. So build what you need to get out of the house, so you only have one pex crimping to do in in under the sink so you'll see what i mean in a minute you gotta kind of use your brains here a little bit don't need that thing and we gotta set this up for that's on three quarters so we gotta get the half tool so now the other thing i didn't mention on another video be sure and use your go no go gauge because uh, these do after time I would say for most people don't usually get out of adjustment but you do want to use this uh, see it's easy to pick up too uh, you do want to use this gauge when, when you're doing this stuff so I'll change the tool over and I'll show you what I mean now we have two different drill bits here I've got this one that's going to be kind of feel our way and I've got this one's going to be uh, what does the dirty work here the other thing I'd recommend is that you have some uh, tape. So when you drill this hole, you can tape it when you're out here. Uh, I know not every house is like that. But whenever you're drilling holes in a house, you got to kind of give her some thought. So I know i got to get the trailer up here and clean all this up. But I've been out all day, so I'm ready for the, that thing to work. So we're going to, uh, well, what have I got here to do that? Uh, we'll just open and close it. So, ugly old green door there, huh? So, let's drill through and see where we are. It's a beautiful day here. I think about putting the other one of these things down here, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to worry about it. So, you can just leave that one open. Don't open it too far to cause a problem. So, I've got all my insulators ready to go. What does Hocus Pocus fit Frisbee? Uh, Infilate them. Got to infilate them. Rod Serling. Focus Pocus Frisbee. If you've never seen that, watch. It's very good. Uh, Andy Devine, I think. Okay, so let's... I uh, don't think I need any light. I can see fine. So let's get going and drill the number one hole. I'm just going to use this drill up here. Uh, so getting my little uh, fire uh, thing coming in the mail, too, from Tractor Supply. That'll, that'll make a great video. Although, uh, once again, I gotta just whenever you see me do something, just consider it very carefully before you do it. Because this is just a kind of a fun little cabin. And the funky, it's like the love shack, it's kind of funky. And, uh, well, not exactly, like, well, I guess it's like that sometimes. Okay. okay, so get your towel, get yourself a towel when you cut this line here. And you can see that uh, I've made my marks, and I'm going to go in uh, about right here, and I'm going to drill through the house right back there at that mark there. And I'm glad about this because I can take a little bit of this off and bring this line because it was hitting the sink. And uh, so uh, I'll, let's just uh, let's just take off a little bit of that, and that'll just give us a look. Now, see, you got you got to remember too, you got the thickness of of right here too so but you can't go too high because you can't uh plumbers here like them them kind of pex fittings i ain't keen on them so i'm going to buy myself a little space and uh 
put that there. So you gotta put your, you gotta get your rings on. Okay. Sometimes if you forget to put your rings on and you gotta get that PEX fitting out of there, it ain't so easy. It, 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 it's kind of, it is grabby and all that other stuff. Oh, and I was gonna show you this too. When you got your no, no go, go, no go tool, tool, you'll see those lines right there. And uh, you want to hit in the middle of those lines. And uh, if it goes too far, it might be a little too tight, but it just helps you adjust everything. I'm having trouble keeping in frame, aren't I? I hope you'll forgive me. But that's, there's your no-go. Go. So that is perfect. So I got my rings on there, but I'm not quite ready to fit this uh, because I got to put this line on right here. But I want to make sure you got to take into consideration the the distance from here to the outside wall because the cabinet is a little bit back off the drywall back there. So this is going to help me with that. So I don't have to, I hope I don't hit anything. I don't know. We'll soon find out. Here, circuit breaker pop or plumbing's in here. So I don't have to worry about the plumbing. Let's see how much distance. So you got a fair amount of distance there. think it's a matter of okay so let's get up and look and see and take your blue tape with you because you may have to drill from both sides if you don't have a great big bit so the drills there and uh, we're gonna go out here and I'm gonna sort of meatball judge look at that there she is Her expectations were what I mean you know I think I can, yeah, I see some insulation there. I think I can see that hole, but it's just better to mark it and make sure. So the distance of the twist part and, uh, and that, okay. I know you think I'm crazy, but I want a tub that garment. Okay, uh, so there's my big bracing bit. And yeah, I think I just hit some insulation there. Yeah, she's sticky. Yeah, there's something I'm hitting back there. So that's a pretty good long way. So my guess would be that'll be plenty. And you want to leave this very proud of the house because when you make your turn out there, you got to put your insulator on it. You don't want it real tight up against the house. And uh, whew, I can smell that stuff. So that ought to be long enough to go ahead and do this thing. So I'm going to uh, finish making this up. I'll finish drilling the holes, and I'll show you what it turns out to look like. So I got my, my big bracing bit there, and uh, we're through, we're through. And that's tight, too, so you got it. There was plenty of insulation in there, so that made me very happy. Okay, so now, this might take a little doing. I don't know. Uh... I don't want this hole to be monstrously huge. You just kind of got to feel your way around. I think I got her. But boy, she's real tight. Let me go waller that out a little bit and then we'll make the life a little easier. Okay. Did a little fat waller in there. And I think. That's going to be just what we want. And, uh, let's go outside and make sure I got her. See what I mean? I, I might have to, I don't know, this red one. I guess I could try to go up here or something. I don't know. I don't think I got enough. I think I'm gonna, I am going to have to go this way. But let's get this one together first. So uh, let's go see if how much pipe we got hanging out there. 
I got lucky. I had most of the tools. Uh, let's take a look here. There she is. And then some. That's all you need. Uh, cause I can, I can get my insulation out here and get it and go that way. So, uh, we're just gonna put, it, put this right here cause this is cold. Okay. There you go. And so we're gonna go in there and finish up the the tea feeding thing. Sometimes when I use the hot water, the cold water, I can hear that pipe kind of rattling up against the bottom of the sink. So I'm, I'm getting uh, two problems settled right here. Okay. So, boy, almost don't need any caulk around that it's so flipping tight so that's great okay so let's get the big pegs tool this eyewise tool is just nice all right so we'll make up the other end now you see what i mean i can just do this now instead of fighting the tool all up in here i can do them to get both hands but uh, yeah that's gonna be nice take a look at it in a second so the cool thing here was not only get my tool here and make sure we're on the line. Yep, we're on the line there. We're on the line there. That pipe is now not hitting the sink. And I was able to turn this valve around. It's the other valve uh, going up to the sink. And there's another valve right there, but that goes to the RO system. And I'm able to see both of them now. And uh, so there you go. And now she's off. And, uh, well, she's on, actually. She's off right there. And uh, so you don't need to see me do that again. But uh, just keep your cloth down there. And uh, let's make up this other line. And I'll show you what it all looks like in the end. So this one I had to make backwards because uh, it was going the other way. I'll tell you something about this tool. When you use it, you'll think, you know, maybe these things are in your way. And uh, all you gotta do is just flip the tool over. And it's real smooth on this side. And uh, yeah, I'm getting to where I really, yeah, there's your okay thing. Like I was telling you about the lines right there. So I'm ready to drill here. And so now I can sort of mark. And uh, let, me, let me cut here. And then I'll show you the end of the end game here. Gotta have enough room to get the tool in there. Okay, you just gotta remember stuff like that. And I don't want to go too far down. So let's get this thing turned out of the way. Okay. And, uh, all right, right about here, I guess. Yep. And since we've got hot water, she'll probably, well, I guess with the pressure off. Okay. So now we can measure up over here and drill a hole, and, you know, I'll, I'll show you the, the end game. And the slow and out well make sure when you're through this turn these valves off and if you got a spigot remember outside to drain everything be sure and close that thing up too all right uh, oops, think sorry hit your head on that it was somewhat difficult to do uh and i and i blew it Ooh, that ain't gonna ever work right there so i'm gonna never mind Luckily, I didn't have that thing permanently mounted. I had to get the tool in here. But here we are. We've got the hot and cold. I've got my go, no go tool and checked everything. It doesn't hurt to just uh, feel around and make sure it's okay. Don't want to be taking a nice, relaxing spa bath and then hear something go whooshing on you. Okay, so now remember to turn these off. Yeah, it's a little little crowded here, but that's okay. Now I've got hot water outside if I want it, and uh, which is interesting, you know. I got hot water at the barn too, so I can wash cars with hot water, which is nice in the winter time. So let's uh, let's put this stuff back together. I gotta get another UV thing for that RO system. Yeah. The ball blue. I think there's enough bacteria there to worry about, but I paid for it, so I'm going to use it. So here we go. 
I got my cold right here and my hot right there and I got a little bit had to go a little bit that but there there we're stubbed out I think is the plumber's phrase all right so I know the tub is going to be pretty far over that way because uh, the angle of from from this post to here see it's gonna hit that uh, shutter so I got an angle here so my guess is the tub's going to end up, the, the spigot things are going to be right around in here. So I might go ahead and just cut these things and and just, uh, I'm, a matter of fact, I will. I'll cut them and insulate them and just make them as equal as I can. And uh, all I got to do is just make it past those holes. And I think I can do that. I don't want to buy any more uh, half-inch packs. There's just no sense in that. It looks like I've got plenty. So let me get my measuring tape and uh, we will... Uh, now I would say you're going to not only need to measure up, I have a lot to unlock to my door. Let me lock it. So, uh, it's tight in through here. And that's better anyway. So, I'm going to get, uh, where am I going to get, where'd they go? Over here. So I'm going to grab these two things and I'll save those. I'm going to use those for later okay and these things I think I can just measure with my hands and we'll get some 90 degree bends and measure out and uh, I'll show you what it looks like in a minute but the point of this is that you want I'm gonna want this to be against the house if, I may have to shade that a little bit but I don't think so just put some caulk in there so you want you're gonna want your uh your 90 degree bend to be about right here on that one and about right here on that one so yeah, i see no reason in getting uh maybe play with that a little bit but uh but i think mostly we can just caulk that this is the uh south east side of the house so this is the warmer part uh, in the morning, so I'm not too concerned. I mean, it is something. If it's five degrees for three days, like it was at one time, you know, you're gonna have, you're gonna be in trouble. But I'm hoping, and, and it looks to me like the drop is going to be from here to to those things. It's gonna go downhill, and that's what I was going for. So when I turn these valves off and turn those valves open, it'll just drain. But you don't want any. You don't want to run any risk of this being a problem. So. Let me uh, get my tools together and my parts together, and I'm just going to show you. I've already explained what it, uh, you know, what it's going to, uh, what I'm going to do. So I've got two of them. Get some rings. Okay, I confess I had a little bit of trouble, <laughs> but I had my pex ring cutter. So yeah, I was, I was going to confess, but uh, I wanted to get done before the sun went down. It got really cold outside. So yeah, I just I had one ring that sort of went lumpy jawed on me, and the uh, hose didn't go all the way down. Just didn't please me, so I cut it and redid it. Turned out actually better. So anyway, let me go out there and do this, and I can come in. What time is it? Ooh, five twenty. So there they are, and I got them in a pretty equal length, and I think that's going to be fine. Let's put the insulator on it, and then we're going to call this quits on this segment after. Uh, on this on this video because I just don't want this thing getting too long but uh, ready to go with this well I kind of rinsed it out and I found the chips in the bottom I think I mentioned them but yeah there's some chips in the bottom so I'm gonna kind of ding around and mess around and try to just it'll have character and but let's put the insulators and I'll show you what it looks like I did find that my super Linux knife cut this stuff pretty easily so let's do our final shot here Let's hold on to these pieces. I might use those. Uh, where can I put those where they won't go away? I don't know. Over here with the other pipes. So once I get my tub set, I can do my drain. So you can get the matching gray insulating. No, I think that's the only color that comes in. So now you can see where I'm going with this. And uh, so she's ready. Ready to go. And, uh, you know... I'm looking so forward to this. So, uh, 
There's the old sun going down and the eyes in his head. See the world spinning around. Thank you for watching. Be sure and give me a thumbs up and most of all, please subscribe. I appreciate everybody that's done that lately. It's been, it's been going up a little bit at a time. So tell your friends, share, and all that other stuff. So this is basically, you know, if you wanted to, you could do anything with this. You could put a utility sink outside if you wanted to. Uh, just getting hot water outside, it doesn't really matter what it's going to. And it is nice to have, have something like that. I mean, especially in the wintertime, and you might have a painting project or a staining project or whatever it is. And uh, just any reason to get hot water outside. I guess that's the way I need to probably frame this when I put it in. But see, they're a little offset, and I, that kind of happened naturally. Figured it would because things are getting in the way. And see, now I can get some foil tape. You know, which will look kind of weird, but I don't care. And, you know, tape this up when I get her all done. And that'll even make it better uh, and keep it together better. But that's almost tied up against the house with just a minimum of work. Okay, so i got to give this tool an A. I wish that this cutter was had a bigger blade. But if I want one of them, I'll get one. And see, I'll always save your little bits until the end, okay? And I uh, can't wait to show you what happens later. So... I'm just going to no, just take this inside. Uh, you know, this is where you start to make your money on stuff at the, at the very end. Okay, talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. You can hear the roosting calls out there.